Who says dynamite doesn't come in small packages? Check out the Mini Rip, a new personal all-terrain vehicle from How and How Technologies. If you've seen the incredible How and How Ripsaw we previously featured on Freeze Lists, or in movies like G.I. Joe Retaliation or Fast and Furious 8, you've probably dreamed of having one of your own. But if the Ripsaw is a little more than you can handle, the mighty Mini Rip might be just what you need. Its large tank treads plow effortlessly through or over rocks, dirt, streams, and snow. Based on the Polaris Sportsman 850 XP, this small but capable machine is considered by some experts to be the world's fastest dual-tracked vehicle. On pavement or the warehouse floor, the Mini Rip can perform some seriously mad moves. The Mini Rip is ridden in a standing position and driven with handlebars, which is also helpful for hanging on for dear life. With its lightweight tube chassis and powerful tracks, you'll love the Mini Rip's extreme capabilities. Just be careful, whatever goes up must come down. This is the How & How Rip Chair, an extreme off-road platform for those confined to wheelchairs. Made with heavy-duty construction-grade components by the world's most experienced fabricators, the Rip Chair offers wheelchair users the type of off-road experience no other chair can match. Its powerful tracks can handle anything nature can throw at it, including snow, sand, mud, or water. With the Rip Chair, even a trip across the parking lot can get really interesting. Each rip chair is custom built for the individual client, allowing users to lock and secure their own wheelchair to a platform for a familiar comfort and feel. The rip chair doesn't use batteries and never needs to be charged, so there's never any downtime. Its powerful four-stroke fuel-injected engine can run all day on a single tank of fuel. A new advanced ramp system lets riders enter and exit the rip chair far more easily. Other recent improvements include right or left-handed electronic controls. By providing technologies to wheelchair users like the Rip Chair, the concept of limitations is becoming obsolete. Here's a tracked vehicle that's not confined to land. Introducing the Iguana 29 from French company Iguana Yachts. Cruising elegantly through the water, one might think the Iguana 29 is just another attractive yacht. As it approaches the shore and begins to rise from the water, it's clear that there's nothing normal about it. Using its retractable caterpillar tracks, this sure-footed creation rolls right up onto the beach. Next. With its 40 horsepower onshore engine and optimum ground pressure, the Iguana 29 can move over land at up to 8 kilometers per hour. In the water, the Iguana 29 can travel at around 35 knots. Its incredible turning capability and extreme seaworthiness through choppy seas and inclement weather would impress any boat captain. In addition to its pleasure craft credentials, it also has the potential for ferrying goods and equipment to shore. Available in several striking colors with a variety of shelters, sunroofs, and other options, the Iguana 29 blends impeccable style with innovative practicality. Check out the 1960 Lamborghini 5C Single Auto, an original Lamborghini tractor now located in Great Britain. Yes, Lamborghini. When you think about that iconic name, you're probably thinking about something more like this. But when Ferruccio Lamborghini first founded the company in 1948, they were only making tractors. In fact, they still do. Beautifully restored in Italy and now fully operational, this 5C runs as well as it did the day it came off the production line. Next level. The 5C is powered by a 40-horsepower three-cylinder diesel engine hooked up to a four-speed manual transmission. The bodywork is painted in the traditional Lamborghini Trattori orange, with a light blue finish on the chassis and track components. Even the lights, gauges, and seating area remain true to the original, as does its Lamborghini name impress toolbox. Currently with a new owner, this iconic piece of tractor history was recently auctioned to the highest bidder. If you've got land that needs tilling or just want to show off, maybe you can find your own 1960 Lamborghini 5C Singolato somewhere out there. 
just be ready to write a really big check. Meet the Track and Go, possibly the world's best wheel-driven track system. If heavy snow is common where you live, this could be exactly what you need. Once installed, these durable tracks let you power over or through even the heaviest snow. Without the need to remove your tires, the Track and Go could have you on your way in as little as 15 minutes. Each of the Track and Go's rubber tracks are turned by the motion of the tires, which absorb all impacts and road vibration. Unless you're plowing through a huge snowdrift, you could almost forget the tracks are installed. The tracks can also be driven in snow-free conditions on the highway and are almost as easy to steer as your tires. You can use the Track and Go with all 4x4 pickup trucks and certain large 4x4 SUVs. An automatic transmission is also required, and your tires must be at least 31 to 35 inches in diameter. If heavy snow has your vehicle sidelined, get back on track with the Track and Go. Introducing the Tinger Track, a line of highly capable off-road vehicles from Russian company Tinger. If you're looking for a tough off-road machine that's equally at home in the woods, in the water, on the snow, or in the swamp, you've found it. Whether used as a snowmobile, ATV, tractor, swamp vehicle, or boat, the Tinker Track is engineered for optimum performance. Its broad caterpillar tracks allow you to cross even the roughest of terrains. The Tinger Track's three model numbers indicate the track width in millimeters. The Standard 380, the Compact 500, and the Standard 500 all come with either a V600 or V800 engine in a variety of colors. The S380 and the S500 are both 3 meters long and 2 meters wide, while the C500 or Compact version is slightly less wide at 1.9 meters. Rarely has there been a track vehicle with such a broad range of uses and capabilities. The Tinker Track turns difficulty into adventure and danger into a simple drive. When police officers are threatened by gunfire, riot shields offer little protection. With the robotic ballistic shield from How and How, officers can be spared serious injury or even death. Attached to a small robotic track vehicle called the SWATBOT, the robotic ballistic shield is able to withstand even the most withering gunfire. Safely behind the shield, officers or SWAT team members can use the SWATBOT to position the shield into the optimal defensive position. The shield also offers protection against small explosives. Weapons can also be mounted behind the shield, allowing officers to take the fight to the bad guys. Developed in conjunction with the Massachusetts State Police, the SWATBOT is a multi-mission remote-controlled platform that can initiate full robotic functions in only five seconds. In addition to its use as carrier for the robotic shield, the SWATBOT can be used for breaching barriers, disabling other vehicles, reconnaissance, and more. With its many applications in tactical situations, civil unrest, and more, the SWATBOT and the robotic shield are essential new tools in the fight against evil. Meet MUTT, the multi-utility tactical transport vehicle from General Dynamics Land Systems. Tested at the Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory, the MUTT has been evaluated by the Marine Corps 3rd Battalion and 5th Marine Regiment. Weighing 750 pounds, the MUTT can be outfitted with tracks or low-pressure wheels. Its tracks can be configured in various ways for navigating through surf, sand, or swamp. And it does pretty well on normal ground, too. With its remote control system developed by Precision Remotes, the MUD is designed to help fewer Marines cover a greater area. It can also carry loads for dismounted Marines.
when the mud isn't busy carrying up to 600 pounds of gear on land, and up to 300 pounds while swimming, it does something enemies of the core won't be too fond of. To provide superior firepower on the battlefield, the MUD can carry and use a 50 caliber machine gun. Now that the MUD has proven its worth, the Marine Corps has a new best friend, and it's packing heat. Which of these tracked machines impressed you more? Tell us in the comments section below. Remember, you can now watch Freeze Lists in Spanish on our new channel, Freeze Lists Español. To do so, just click on this link and you will be directed there. See you next time.